Hey, everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. So you guys have asked for more gaming content and I am more than happy to deliver that. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Liam Daw from GamingOnLinux.com. In my opinion, Liam is pretty much the gold standard when it comes to daily Linux gaming coverage. So check him out at GamingOnLinux.com. And we're thinking about turning this into a monthly segment called the Linux Gaming Report. So if you like it, let us know in the comments. So here is Liam to talk about a game that's breathing new life into the phrase open source gaming. Linux for everyone. But how about a little gaming for everyone? Well, that's why I'm here. Hi everyone, it's Liam. I wanted to talk about something a little different, and this might shock you too. I'm gonna to mention open source and gaming together. Crazy, right? Well, not so much. When you think about open source Linux gaming, you probably think something like Cyprus Car. An absolute classic, sure, good for kids, okay, but what about something a little bit more involved? I give you Mindustry. Mindustry is like an absolutely glorious blending of Factorio, so you have mining with factories pulling up resources, and conveyor belts spreading across the map. But then it also blends in a tower defense game as you're pumping resources to special towers and then you face off against waves of enemies while you try to gather resources. What's awesome about Mindustry is how amazingly polished it feels. It's probably one of the best open source games around. With a single player campaign support, it's got multiplayer. There's a research system for some progression. There's multiple different game modes and even a level editor. Mindustry is basically setting a new gold standard of what open source games can be. Hundreds of people play it. The developer even released it on Steam where right now I'm looking at it, there's over 600 people playing it and there's an overwhelmingly positive rating from over 3000 reviews. It is just doing amazingly well. You know what else is amazing about Mindustry? It's mostly a one person operation. Let that sink in for a moment. How crazy is that? A single person doing the majority of the work has made such an amazing game. There are other contributors, of course, especially with it being open source and it's available on GitHub. There's quite a lot of other people that have done small patches here and there, but the majority of it is one person and it blows my mind what people can do. So there you have it, Mindustry. I'm a big, big fan. You can find it on Steam where you have to pay for it, or you can find it on itch.io where you can download it free or donate if you wish as well. Absolute recommendation on that one. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for engaging. And if you want to help the channel even more, if you like what I'm doing here, there's two ways you can help. The first is subscribing, obviously, and uh, clicking that notification bell so you can get personalized notifications when I upload a new video. And the second way you can show your support and feed your caffeine addiction is the new Linux for Everyone coffee mug with the logo on one side and a special Coffee for Everyone logo on the other side. It is available at the URL right there, and you can also pick up Linux for Everyone hoodies, t-shirts, and a bunch of other cool stuff from the entire Destination Linux network. I will see you very soon, and until we chat again, take care, and take care of each other.